Hi guys, this is Chuojin. Um, for some reason, last night I was not able to sleep. I woke up at 1.30ish. Um, and then I was up until now. And I was going through the YouTube clips about Sony. Son Heng Min. Do you guys know about Son Heng Min? Sony. If you are a soccer fan, then you probably know. Um, Sony. Um, that's his as known as Sony, but he's Son Heng Min. And he's Korean soccer player. But he's playing in Tottenham. Um, and he is a premier leaguer and by no offense i'm just letting you know that i don't have any knowledge on soccer so if i um say something wrong um don't hate me for it <laughs> okay i don't really have knowledge on soccer whatsoever i just pick up some things here and there i just have the basic basic things about soccer and i know what soccer is <laughs> but i really don't have knowledge for it Anyway, so I was in the algorithm, so I just scrolled down about Sony Min, as known as Sony. I think so, Sony, yeah. And um, one of them was talking about Sony's leadership, and they called servant leadership, which means that you are going to have soft charisma it's not like top down but you're embracing everybody and you are less authority figure and you are serving the people around you and that's a kind of leadership they called servant leadership um and i think sony is a great player um great leadership I get it um but when i was um watching about sony's plays and sony's leadership and how he is liked by people and all that he's playing really well all that all of them talked about his nice things about him nice things about him um and i don't really know about sony i only know what they say um, if these many people say something about Sony, then Sony must be doing something good. That's all I can say. Um, but what I want to make video about is about Sony, but it's actually about my mentor, Aisgang. Um, my mentor, he's a business coach and his name is Aisgang. He's training people in Korea, but I'm part of his online class and I'm so grateful that I have him as my mentor. My life changed 100%, 360 degrees, flipped over in a good way because of him. Um, so my mentor, Aisgang, talked about Sony once. Only once, I think, as far as I remember. Maybe more times, but I haven't gone through all of his videos yet. I mean the challenge for myself that I will go through all of his videos. So I'm going through all of his videos from the oldest time and until now. So I don't know. But so far, I've gotten him mentioning Sony once. And he said, okay, well, yeah. But even Sony, even that Sony, if he's not doing his job, do you think people will talk about him all the time? Something like that, my mentor said. You know what I mean? This is the key. So, in anything that you do, you have to do good. You have to show your skill. You have to do the ability, you have to um, be able. That's the most important thing. That's the very basic, but that's hard to earn believe it or not i don't think a lot of people will even get to that point in their life um to do that you have to in my eyes gang my mentor uh way of saying you have to max it you have to be the top um level you cannot just be here and there average and you are just working hard. I'm just working hard. That's not going to be enough. 
you have to do good. You have to max that skill. You have to really, so that people can tell you. Uh, people can people can talk about you that, oh, yeah, we don't know about every other thing about her, but she's really good. She knows what she's doing. That's what you need to work on. You know what I mean? Um, if you really want freedom in your life, if you really want financial freedom in your life, um, if you want control in your life, then you have to max yourself, max your skill, max your ability. Um, so people to the level where people can not say anything else. You know what I mean? Um, yeah, that, that just hit me. Um, and I just, I was just like, that's so true. Um, and then my mentor, what did he say? He just uploaded, he just posted a short, short, uh, what's this called? She, he posted on the community where he can just, you know, like on YouTube, what do you call this? I don't even know. Um, he just said something on YouTube for the people who's subscribing him. He said many things, but I will just keep it short. He said, just because people um, agree, just, cause, just because everybody agrees to it, that doesn't mean that that has the worth in it, that has the value in it. Hmm. And then he said, and I was thinking about this. I don't want to go all of them because it's going to be a long, deep thinking, thought, sharing. And I can go deep and deep. I like those things. I like to go deep and deep and keep talking. But it's going to be an hour talking about all of, all of this and sharing my thought about it and twisting and extending my thought. I'm sure you guys don't want it, so I'm not going to talk about it, but I'm just going to keep it to the topic that I want to talk about here. The point of this video is about Sony, but it's more about my mentors, Ai Skang Sei, that hit me, saying that the reason why people pay attention to Sony is because he's doing his job very well not just an average, not just working hard. He's doing his job. Um, was I looking over here? Sorry, I, was, I had to look over here. Yeah, it's because he's doing his job. Um, and that's a very basic, you would think, but it's hard to earn. And you have to be really a pro. You have to max yourself. You have to max your skill. You have to max your ability. Um, to be that top. Um, that's just a fact. That's just the real truth. Um, I think a lot of people can miss it out because when everybody's so dearly loving Sony and they all they're like talking about Sony's personality. Um, literally, I go through all of the videos. They talk about Sony's personality and abilities also, Sony's soccer skills, um, uh, personality, like 50-50 probably. But really, it's from skills first. Skills first and then the personality. Um, that's just a brutal fact. And that's what my mentor was always saying. You have to have the skills. It's different when you are generous to somebody when you're poor versus when you're rich and you're generous to somebody. Do you see the difference? So um, 
he said here in his uh, community post that just because everybody is agreeing, um, that doesn't mean that it has a value in it. It has that worth in it. I was thinking that Sony about this um, post. I was thinking about Sony. Um, everyone's talking about their, his personality um, a lot. But really, it's because of his ability. It starts from his ability. Um, and because of his personality, he will be able to go through his career. You see, right? A lot of like, lots of troublemakers, soccer players, they cannot, their name's gonna be, uh, not fun to call, so to say. Um, but because of his personality, um, with his amazing skills, he's able to continue his career. Obviously, personality matters, right? But you have to have the skills first. You have to top, you have to max yourself. You have to be at the level where people cannot say anything about it, about it, about yourself. Um, when it comes to your own skill set, when it comes to your ability, people should have no doubt about it. People should acknowledge you. That's the level that you want to get. That's the level that you want to be. Um, and I was thinking that's so true. Um, that's what my mentor was always emphasizing throughout his videos. I think even though he didn't mention in all of his videos, most of his, his videos were talking about it. And yeah that's the message that he's always getting across um yeah anyways that's what i want to share in this video um so in conclusion i just want to say max your skill and you will know your personality is good or not along the way. Hope you have good personality. But you first have to max your skill, max your ability to the, to the level where people can acknowledge you. They have no doubt about your skill and ability. Um, that's what you have to do. That's what you have to work on. Whatever job you're taking, even though you're a freel freelancer or I don't know, you're painter, I don't know, your online creator, it doesn't matter. Even though you have nine to five job, it doesn't matter, just it doesn't have to be limited to nine to five job. Even if you're a freelancer, you have to max your skill. Do you think that those like online creators they make hundreds of millions of dollars, they 10k a month or something, I don't know. Do you think that's really easy as they sound? I don't think so. Um, in order for them to be at that level, I'm sure they work hard. Um, to be at that level, not just working hard. So you really have to think about it. And I'm telling it to myself, if you're watching this video, um, you probably have... I don't know why you're watching this video, honestly. <laughs> but if it resonates with you, I hope you get something out of it or at least agree to a degree of what I'm saying. Um, yeah. Anyways, thank you for watching this video and I hope everybody can be a winner and we can all do this together. We don't have to be losers. We can all be winners. I'll see you soon. Bye now.